Hi, Hi OG. OG! I'm James. And I'm Eli. And we turned this 1970s ancestral home to a brand new house. So we've been searching for a house which we can convert into a content studio for over a year. And luckily, we found this place in FB Market. And it's previously owned by a prominent family who loved gatherings and who wanted to welcome a lot of people. So basically, we wanted to continue on to that legacy and we wanted to welcome content creators in our space as well. The house has been here for around 1970s, right? 1970s. Around that time. When we got here, it's, it looks a bit haunted and... Abandoned. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and it felt like it's been a long time before anyone has actually lived here. So it was actually a challenge to build this place again. So we'll give you a quick tour. James, you na kana. Okay, so let's start here. Um, before, kasi, ano lang to, putik, madamo, but we had this professionally landscaped. We opted for a fake grass para madaling linisin at madaling i-maintain. So as you can see, yung brick wall, dati na yan, existing na yan, ni-retain namin to add texture and character pa din from the old house. And mention ko na din, our garage, it can fit four to five SUVs. And of course, um, pinasement din namin yung front sidewalk na it can fit two cars. So this is the main entrance. Before, maliit lang siya, yung typical maliit na door. And since nga, this is a content house, inisip namin yung accessibility ng pagpasok ng mga gamit, ng mga props, ng mga ilaw. Kaya we had this custom made na ganito kalaki. So this is the living room one. It is 33 square meters with a height of 12 feet. My basic aesthetic furniture na para sa mga walang dalang gamit, pwede na mag-shoot. But this place is very flexible. Kung meron naman kayong dalang mga gamit, pwede silang ilipat. In terms of retaining some items here, ang niretain namin ay yung floor, pinolish lang namin, and yung ceiling kasi maganda yung structure and detail kasi may character and we want to also pay homage to its history ng bahay na to. In terms of materials, we made sure that the house is really made with production in mind. So we made sure that all the walls are matte because we wanted to avoid reflections in terms of lighting. All our tiles are matte as well because again, we're avoiding reflections. And in terms of lighting, uh, we made sure that we had enough lighting um, all around the place, in-house lights, because we wanted productions, big or small, to feel like they don't need to bring in a lot of equipment just to be able to shoot here. So another key feature here in Living Room 1 is the French arch glass door for that added natural lighting passing through. Before kasi, ano lang siya, sliding door, kami ang nagpa-arch nito for that aesthetic feels para din madaling makapasok ng gamit at maglabas ng gamit during shoots. In our line of work as producers, we saw that there is a market for this and we saw that there's a need for actual houses. After the pandemic, there were homeowners that are no longer okay with having their houses shot by film productions or TV shows or series. And we felt like, oh, this has opened an opportunity for us to explore that market. Because we could have opened the studio, right? But since our contacts or connections are in the movies and um, in TV shows, series, we feel like the content house business is more appropriate for us. And at the same time, if we want to convert it into a studio, it's flexible enough as well for photo shoots and other purposes. So again, this is living room 2 slash 
VIP room slash dressing room. Pwede din mag-shoot dito, pero at the same time, pwede din siyang gamitin ng lounge area or dressing room, as mentioned nga kanina. Then we have basic aesthetic furniture. And we have a changing area. And of course, since this is a VIP room, we also offer refreshments. We retain this from the old structure, the closet. And then, pinalakihan lang namin yung mirror. And then, aside dito, niretain din namin yung glass windows. And here naman, for the accent wall, we had a nude lime wash paint. So, this is another makeup area. Wait lang, online natin yung ilaw. Ayan, so, uh, two packs, kasha dito. Sa cabinets, ang laman nito, meron kami mga wardrobe na pwedeng, kunwari, may mag-shoot, pwede nilang mahiram or ma-rent out. And this one, of course, bilang VIP room to, meron din siyang sariling toilet and bath. So, the talent or the artist can take a shower after shoot. The reason why it's all white with uh, a neutral palette, it's because we want it to look like a blank canvas in such a way that they feel like they have more liberty to change it up or spruce it up the way they want it to, yes. Because, for example, if the walls are already painted a certain color, it might be difficult to pair it with certain furniture or for certain um, design aesthetic, so we wanted to keep our walls plain, white, and all neutral, fresh palette. It's now my turn to give you a tour of the house. Up next is our kitchen and dining area. Let's go! So this is our kitchen and dining area. What we have here are these glass doors. Dati, ano siya? Walls with bintana lang. We want it to be accessible for all furniture to be moved around. If kailangan ilabas or kailangan magpasok ng gamit. So we have here our dining set and we have different chairs talaga para din iba-iba yung style niya. Depende kung ano kailangan ng production. And they can mix and match these chairs with the other items in the other areas as well. We have a lounge here and we have these track lights for additional lighting. And then moving on to our kitchen. So here we have, of course, our very beautiful marble countertop. Yeah, lakas niya makasocial. And then we also made sure that this is made of stone, not tiles, because of course the purpose of this is for shooting food shows or food content, and so people are gonna be really working here. So we made sure quality. We spent a bit more, but you know it's worth it, na man, for its purpose. So this countertop is movable. It has wheels underneath. If people wanted to move it around and they need more space for the lighting or the camera, pwedeng pwedeng gawin. And of course, for productions who don't have as much budget for lighting, we made sure the whole space is well lighted for you. We have these soft lights here for that beauty lighting, di ba? As you create your content. Tutu ka dyan, ganyan, say your spiel. You don't need those big lights anymore kasi pwedeng pwede na. These are enough. So aside from this kitchen, meron pa kaming isang kitchen. Tara, I'll show you. So this is our prep area, our dirty kitchen. So if you're shooting your food content on our main kitchen area, you can prep your food here. We have mat pa rin, just in case people wanted to shoot here. And we have this continuity door that looks like a kitchen shelf. So that's our kitchen and dining area. Ngayong natura na natin yung first floor, akita man tayo sa second floor. But before that, I would like to share with you a very special detail about this staircase. It has a letter A initial because this stands for the initial of the surname 
ng previous na owner ng bahay na to. And we decided to retain it because we just wanted to preserve, you know, part of the history of this house. And as storytellers, uh, we wanted to be able to tell that story to our guests here. Okay, so before we proceed to the other rooms here in the second floor, allow me to talk a little bit about this space. We have a mini hallway here and in this area, this used to be an altar, but we instead had it converted to an additional storage space. We also retained this jalousy here. And we also retained the details of the hallway, these moldings here, but we just painted it white from brown. And for the flooring, we had it resanded and they added a natural varnish lounge just to keep it light and fresh. So this is our concept room one. It's this small, classic, all matte white space which serves as a blank canvas for whatever theme of your shoot may be. So before, this is just plain brown walls. And again, we painted it matte white and then we added these moldings for that classic, fresh, clean look. And plus, we had the windows enlarged para pumasok again yung natural lighting that can make any shoot look cinematic even if wala kayong lighting na dala or any equipment. The original design of the house has three bedrooms here on the second floor. But as I mentioned earlier, we only had two because we merged two bedrooms into one concept room. So you may enter here, you may also enter here. This is the concept room too. As you can see, this is plain because we want you to be free and very creative of what you want to do with the space. Um, it has big windows as well for that natural cinematic lighting and those matte white walls as your black canvas. So this is our bathroom studio. Before, we have a divider between the shower and the toilet, but we got rid of that because we wanted to make the space look bigger. Also, before, ang nakalagay dito yung sink area, but we moved it to the other side, and instead, we put a bathtub here. Now, here in our sink area, we have this irregular-shaped mirror for that aesthetic look, and we made sure that all the fixtures are gold just to make it look more expensive. Now, for the tiles, we have matte, marble design tiles just because we are still wanting to avoid those reflections kapag magsushoot tayo ng content. And to add texture, we added a fluted white wall on the other side. And then, we also have this bathtub. It's functioning. Pwede siyang punuin ng tubig. But at the same time, it has a key feature. You can move it around. Basically, this house, we rented this out. The renovation cost is around 4.2 million, but in total, having all the furnitures and new fixtures, it's around 4.8 million. For those interested, we have a per area, per hour rate, which starts at 600 pesos. And if you wanted to rent the whole house for the whole day, it starts at 35,000 pesos. If you want to rent the house per hour, it's 2,917 pesos. So with 2,917 pesos per hour, you can shoot everywhere na. And that's, I mean everywhere. Just maximize the whole house. So that ends our tour here at the recently renovated ancestral home turned into a content house. If you want to book our creative space, please go to our social media accounts. That's BNB Studios on Facebook and at BNB Studios PH on Instagram. We hope you got some inspiration for your future homes, whether it's brand new or a renovated one. 
We look forward to seeing you here at BNB Studios. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. If you have an interesting or inspiring story that you want to share, email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com. At para wala kayong mamiss na video ng OG channel, subscribe na and hit the notification bell to get updates on our latest episodes.